And now let's turn our attention to Northeast Africa, where the Sudan is bearing the brunt of a violent power struggle. On one side is the Sudanese army, on the other is the Paramilitary Rapid Support Force, or RSF, Rapid Support Force. In April this year, a war erupted between the two, the army and the RSF. And since then, about 7,500 people have been killed. More than 5 million have been displaced. And about 3 million of these people have fled from just Khartoum, that is the capital of Sudan. The RSF has been fighting to take control of it, of Khartoum. Now, the conflict has raged into its sixth month, and the city is going up in flames quite literally. Several landmarks have been set on fire. Entire buildings have been gutted. The paramilitary forces attacked the army headquarters this weekend. Our next report tells you more. This is no ordinary building with a glass facade. It's one of Sudan's main landmarks, an emblem of its capital, Khartoum. The tower is instantly recognizable. But, as you can see, now it's making news for the wrong reasons. This weekend, it was engulfed in flames. A skyscraper that once towered over the Nile, now reduced to a smoldering wreck. But it wasn't the only victim. Several other landmarks and government buildings met the same fate. The Sudanese capital has been a crucial target of the paramilitary rapid support forces. They have been trying to gain control of Khartoum since the war erupted on the 15th of April this year. The conflict was triggered by a power struggle between these two leaders, Chief of the Sudanese Army, Abdel Fattah al-Burhan, and his former deputy, Mohammed Hamdan Daglo, who is now the RSF commander. Nearly 7,500 people have been killed so far. Over 5 million people have been displaced. 2.8 million of them have fled from just the capital city. Its neighborhoods were once densely populated. Today, they're a mere ghost of themselves. Though conflict is regular in Khartoum, this weekend was like no other. The RSF began attacking areas controlled by the army on Saturday, including army premises and headquarters. This continued into Sunday. Residents woke up to the sound of bombs and found clouds of smoke everywhere. Several government buildings were on fire. Flames devoured many landmarks. No injuries or deaths have been reported so far. It's unclear how the fire started. Reports say buildings caught fire as a result of attacks by RSF. But the paramilitary disagrees. To no one's surprise, they accuse the army for the fires. The coup people of the terrorist army, the Sudanese army, struck one of the city's landmarks, the Nile Petroleum Company Tower. They used artillery and it was completely burned. This is also not something new to them. They also spread rumors that the rapid support forces did this. Attack after attack has turned Khartoum into a shell of its former self. And while both sides are to be blamed, it's the people of Sudan who are paying the price for it.